Popularity does not last forever. This is especially true for K-pop stars. One moment their faces are everywhere and their schedules are packed. Then as soon as they know it, no one is talking about them anymore and they disappear off the face of the K-pop earth. We bring you today our list of the top 10 forgotten K-pop stars. Starting us off at number 10 is 2PM's Nikun. Nikun, who earned the nickname Thai Prince because of his rich background and good looks, debuted in the band 2PM in 2008. He was a vocalist, rapper, and visual of the group. Although he wasn't Korean, Nikun was quite popular with the Korean public, probably due to his charm and handsome face, which appeared everywhere in Korea. He was in a ton of adverts and invited to many variety shows like Running Man. Sadly, 2PM's popularity dwindled around 2012, perhaps due to the group's lack of activities in Korea. So Nikun started to disappear from the limelight. He still does solo tours, but his popularity isn't quite what it used to be. At number 9 is CN Blue's Yonghwa. Jung Yonghwa, known mononymously as Yonghwa, was part of the band CN Blue, which formed in 2009 in Japan. The group finally released its first EP, Blue Tori, in Korea in 2010. As CN Blue became more popular, Yonghwa gained a reputation for being insanely charming, good looking, and talented. Like everyone else on this list, Yonghwa's popularity started to fade as time passed. Controversies such as whether he had participated in insider trading, which is a criminal offense in Korea, also didn't help his public image. Yonghwa still has some fans, but definitely not as many as he did at his peak. Next at number 8 is Joe Kwon of 2AM. Joe Kwan was the leader of the group 2AM, formed by JYP Entertainment, and debuted in 2008. Although 2AM wasn't as popular as its shadow group 2PM, Joe Kwan's magnetic and flamboyant personality kept the band relevant. He appeared on variety shows like Star King alone and won the audience over with his humor. Between 2010 and 2013, Joe Kwan released his first song, The Day I Confessed, his solo album, I'm to One, and appeared in TV shows and sitcoms. Unfortunately, he left JYP Entertainment in 2017 to join Cube Entertainment and then started his compulsory military service a year later in 2018. Despite his great personality and talent, Joe Kwan's popularity waned due to being in the industry for a long time. Perhaps he'll gain some of it back now that he's finished his conscription. Coming in at number seven is Hongi of FT Island. E Hongi, known by his stage name Hongi, debuted in the rock band FT Island in 2007. He was originally a child actor and made his acting debut in 2002 in the show Magic Kid Masuri. After singing the OST of the TV series Gangsungi, which he also starred in, Hongi began to pursue a singing career, which led him to become a trainee for FNC Entertainment. FT Island's beautiful ballads gained them popularity in Korea and Japan. The band even topped the Japan Oricon Weekly album chart with Five Treasure Island. Hongi stood out in the band as the lead vocalist and captivated the public with his many talents, earning him the title of Triple Threat. Sadly, Hongi naturally retreated from the limelight as time passed and new bands debuted. Filling that number six spot is after school's Nana. Im Jin Ah, known as Nana, debuted in the girl group After School, formed by Playdis Entertainment in 2009. The band especially gained a reputation for its visuals, catchy songs, and interesting music video concepts. Nana became one of the most popular band members because she was one of the prettiest in the group. She actually topped the independent critics list of the 100 most beautiful faces for two years in a row. Sadly, multiple members started to leave the group because of mismanagement issues, which led to a decline in After School's popularity. Shockingly, Nana is the only current member left in the band, but she doesn't release music anymore, so her K-pop career seems like a memory in the distant past. At number 5, we have Nicole of Kata. Nicole Chung is the former leader of the K-pop group Kata, formed by DSP Media. She was originally born in California but moved to South Korea to pursue her singing dreams. 
the band's popularity increased after the release of the songs Mr. and Wanna, which allowed the group to debut in Japan in 2010. In fact, Kara was one of the first girl groups to achieve huge success in Japan. Unfortunately, Nicole, alongside Sungyun and Jiyoung, wanted to leave DSP Media in 2011, but the issues they had were resolved and all three members stayed. However, Nicole finally left in 2014 and decided to pursue her solo career in both Korea and Japan, signing to the agency B2M Entertainment. She's still active on social media, but she's become a ghost in the K-pop world. In our fourth spot is Beast's Hyunsung. Chang Hyunsung, known mononymously as Hyunsung, was a member of the boy band Beast, formed by Cube Entertainment in 2009. He was originally a trainee of YG Entertainment and was meant to debut with the band Big Bang, but didn't because he wasn't ready. His nerves seemed to have completely vanished by the time he debuted with Beast because he soon became the most popular band member. For instance, he had many individual projects such as releasing his solo debut EP named My in 2015. He even became part of the duo Troublemaker with X4 Minute member Hyuna in 2011. Hyunsung left Beast in 2016, but continued as a solo artist with Cube Entertainment. Some say his departure from the band was caused by several scandals he had, such as liking Instagram photos with mature content. What's certain, however, is that he became a lot less popular after this. And number three is Sohee of Wonder Girls. An Sohee, better known by her first name, Sohee, was an incredibly popular member of the high acclaimed girl group Wonder Girls, formed by JYP Entertainment in 2007. With catchy songs like So Hot, Wonder Girls secured their position as one of the best girl groups in Korea. The band was even the first Korean act to gain a position on the Billboard Hot 100 chart with an English version of Nobody. So his popularity skyrocketed after everyone fell in love with her iconic line Omona in the song Tell Me, which became a national sensation. Unfortunately, she left Wonder Girls and JYP Entertainment in 2013, which contributed to her decline in popularity. Nowadays, she's an actress and has played roles in K-dramas like Welcome to Waikiki and in films like Train to Busan, but her popularity is nothing compared to what it was in the past. 21's Minzi fills the number two spot. Kong Minji, better known as Minzi, debuted in the legendary girl group 21 in 2009. The members soon became popular after several of their albums reached number one on the charts. Despite the group's presence in the limelight, Minzi was the least popular member as she had fewer solo activities than her bandmates, Home, CL, and Tara. Sadly, 21's popularity began to decrease after several controversies and failed attempts to enter the U.S. music market. This caused Minzy to leave the band months before the group's official disbandment in 2016. CL, Home, and Dada still release music and appear on variety shows, but Minzy seems to have kept under the radar since leaving 21, as she hasn't done anything since 2018. Finally, at number one, is Girls' Generation's Sunny. Lee sung -gyu, better known as Sunny, was part of one of the most influential groups of the Korean wave, Girls' Generation, which debuted in 2007. The members' popularity exploded after the release of the song G in 2009, and they broke numerous records in the years that followed. This success earned them the title of The Nation's Girl Group. Unfortunately, Sunny was naturally one of the least popular people in the group, despite doing her own solo activities such as producing songs for shows like Working Mom. This was because other members, such as the band's leader, Taeyeon, outshone her. Girls' Generation is regrettably a lot less relevant than they were a decade ago, despite their influence on K-pop, which means Sunny is quite the forgotten K-pop star. It's no surprise that she hasn't done anything since appearing on the variety show Chana Jangsa in 2016. Are there any other forgotten K-pop stars you think should be on the list? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest videos.